As the economy is fully recovering, we want to look at the different variable options that are on the market to actually help you boost your personal finances. And DFCU Bank has been doing its homework, its research, and they've come out with a very interesting campaign, which is dubbed Rich for More campaign. Now, as it has been launched recently, we want to understand more about this campaign and how you can actually benefit from this. I'm joined by Miranda Bagaine, who's the head of personal banking with DFCU to just throw more light on this new campaign. Good morning to you, Miranda. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning to uh, the viewers. Um, yeah, so like you said, DFCU, about two, maybe three weeks ago, we launched a campaign that's called Reach for More, uh, where we are encouraging our customers to take advantage of some of the special packages that we've put out. Uh, this is really in line with our brand promise, uh, where we say we're making more possible for our customers, our staff, our partners and basically the communities that we serve. So the campaign is speaking to different types of customers in different walks of life. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the, the, can I call it the parameters of the campaign is an unsecured loan, which we offer to people who are in formal employment. And we offer up to 250 million shillings unsecured. Unsecured? Yes. Like all you need is my signature and the paperwork. You just need to confirm that you're employed and your employer you know, verifies this yes. information and yes. you can get 250 million unsecured. And uh, the, the beauty about it this time around is that we are even going ahead and offering a grace period, what we call a repayment holiday, a 75 day grace period. Because you know, usually at the beginning of the year, People struggle to, to make lots of payments, school fees, mm -hmm. you're coming out of a festive season. Uh, so what we've done is that we've offered customers uh, a chance to pay their loans, not in the immediate month following, but after two months. So this allows them to put their things in order, put their lives and finances in order, mm -hmm. and then they can begin to pay mm -hmm. the loan. Uh, so the campaign is not only speaking to the salaried people, it also has, uh, we have a, what we call a mobile loan. Uh, a mobile loan is um, a quick loan that you can get on your online banking, on our online banking platform, and uh, you'd get up to two million shillings you know, in five minutes on the phone. So we did this also because we know that the process for loan application can be quite tedious, and we thought uh, you know, during this time people will need quick money. I mean, you can use this to pay school fees if you've not been able to, you know, to arrange money in time. So the mobile loan is another one that we are bringing out as part of our campaign, our Rich for More campaign. So we are really basically telling customers that you can get a loan on your phone and you can pay it back on your phone without even having to come to the bank. You're reaching more customers, in yes. other words. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Mm -hmm. um, let's go back to the Rich for More campaign, the one mm -hmm. focusing on the salary earners. Mm -hmm. What are the criteria mm -hmm. in terms of of what you will recognize and consider uh, when it comes to the employer side. Mm. How long should they have been at the workplace? Mm. Um, should they be having a certain scale of money that is you know, given to them at the end of the month for them to qualify for that particular nature of loan? No, I'll start with the second one. Um, we don't uh, really require that you're earning a certain amount of money. What, what we are more interested in is the consistency of your earning. So we have um, different types of employers that we work with. Uh, what we're really looking at is that somebody has started working and has gotten confirmed in their role because most employment contracts come with a probation period. Mm -hmm. And so we'd be interested to know that you have completed probation and you're confirmed in your workplace. So it doesn't really matter what the salary scale is because we have um, customers from different types of employers. I mean, we have government workers, we have people in the private sector. So the salary scales differ, but what we're really looking at is, you know, how reputable is the employer and how long have you been working in that place for you to be able to qualify for the loan. Okay, yeah. so the, the length of employment should be... And most, What's most the people, most favorable? Most people because have I could a, a be six, six months, months in. Yes, most people have a six-month probation, and so we we'll usually look at that as the minimum. Although we do have people who are on contract employment, which doesn't come with a probation. So we consider those separately as well, because some people have a one-year contract, two-year contract, which mm -hmm. doesn't come with a probation, so we consider the, you know, the duration of the contract. Okay, yeah. all right. Now, um, when you talk about the Mobi loan, mm -hmm. in terms of approvals, how does mm -hmm. that happen online? <laughs> Okay, the, the approvals are done before. So we have a, a scoring engine, I could say, that sort of pre-scores customers. Mobile loans are available to customers who are already banking with yeah. DFCU. Mm -hmm. So that means we have some information about you in terms of how much money goes into your account uh, on a monthly basis. So we have a system that is going to score you based on that money that's coming into your account. And so you'll be pre-qualified. 
the moment right. you log in, it will automatically tell you how much you qualify mm -hmm. for. So the maximum is two million, but you will qualify for different amounts depending on how much you bank. And the account. list being? Um, the list is a, is a 10,000 shillings actually. Yeah. Oh, yes, okay. the list is 10,000. That's very interesting. <laughs> Let's talk about eligibility in terms of these offers. Okay. Um, well, for the very one that we're talking about, the unsecured, uh, eligibility is really that you're salaried, that you're in formal employment, that you have an employment contract, uh, that, of course, you have to be 18 and above. Uh, and really, what we're looking at is ensuring that you are uh, uh, not in private business, but you are formally employed. So I could say that's the, the biggest criteria that we're considering. Although we do have other arms of the campaign mm -hmm. that I think we'll speak about, mm -hmm. that look at the people who are in other walks of life, in business, self-employed, and uh, for the mobile loan specifically, it, it, you don't have to be salaried. Just for as long as you're banking with DFCU, it doesn't matter what your source of income is, it will qualify you for a mobile loan. Okay, yes. so what makes this particular nature of loans competitive for the market? Wh why should they be taking them on right now? The unsecured? Yes. Or all the loans that we're offering? No, the unsecured. The unsecured specifically. Okay. Unsecured is competitive competitive because of the time, the turnaround time, the time to money, like we say. Um, unlike some of the other traditional banking products where there's a lot required in terms of uh, you know, analysis of your business, of uh, security, I mean the process of getting your security in the bank and getting it uh, perfected and all that, does take some time. So what makes the unsecured loan quite popular is really the speed. The, I mean you can have an application put in today and have money at the end of the day. Yes. We do, have, we do give customers money in the same day that they've applied because a lot of it is um, automated, the mm -hmm. paperwork is minimal, and we have uh, systems in the bank where you know, these approvals are done online, so customers get money within a 24-hour period. Okay. Um, in the event that something happens while someone is paying back that loan, yes. uh, what are the considerations that you have there? Something happens like, like what? It could be death. <laughs> okay. Um, of course, there are certain things that are um, beyond our control. And as part of the unsecured offering, we, we take on a certain level of insurance. And this insurance is really to cover unforeseen events and things like death. I mean, uh, nobody intends to die. So we have uh, also things like involuntary job loss. We, we've seen quite a bit of restructures, especially coming out of COVID. And uh, these are cases where people are laid off. And uh, so we take on an, uh, an insurance that is paid uh, at the beginning when you take the loan. Mm -hmm. And it covers things like death, things like permanent disability, uh, critical illness. Uh, in such events, uh, if somebody is unable to pay the loan, and then uh, insurance comes in. OK. Yeah. So in terms of the paperwork, I've come to DFCU. I want to sign up for the unsecured loan. Mm. Um, do I need a national? ID passport? And yes, definitely. Uh, and I think right now in every financial institution, you are mandated to have a national ID to open an account and even to borrow. So definitely in terms of KYC, you would need a national ID. You would need your employment documentation. Uh, it also helps to have your work identification. And then uh, any other details pertaining to your nature of work, your nature of contract, all those that can help uh, decision making at the bank. Those are the kinds of documents that, that we would require from you. So if someone is interested in taking on this nature of loan, mm. but they're not currently with DFC, what's yes. the consideration there? We still just require the same information because if you've been working but you've been banking somewhere else, you will have information about your job yes, that we true. can take. Yeah. But we'll also have information about your banking in the other institution. So we'll just need a statement from the other institution mm -hmm. and we can still give you. And interestingly, we don't need for you to have banked with DFCU for the six months, for example. As long as we have evidence of your banking in the other institution, we can give you money immediately. Hmm, okay, yeah. sounds juicy. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you that have been having big plans but you actually do not have the funding that you need yeah. or you need to clear some of those school fees uh, pressures around you, mm -hmm. well, uh, turn to DFCU. Uh, this, I think, is a very comfortable and secured loan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, in your other you know, offers that you have under DFCU, mm -hmm. okay, I'll start with um, as part of the Reach for More campaign. Uh, in DFC, we serve all types of customers in all walks of life. Uh, so in the campaign itself, we have also targeted different types of customers. I've spoken to the salaried, and then we also have uh, what we're calling the, the school offering for schools. Uh, you know, coming out of COVID, of course, uh, the, I think the education sector was one of the hardest hit. 
And so we, we saw that some of them were struggling uh, to get back on their feet. So part of the campaign is offering an unsecured overdraft to schools. And this is um, basically we are looking at giving them 30% of their school fees collection and we're allowing them to pay it over a period of three months as the students pay or as the parents pay the school fees. So this allows them to you know, meet some of their working capital requirements mm -hmm. without necessarily having to struggle so much because not everybody pays fees on time. So this we're offering to schools specifically uh, and can I call them education institutions. Some schools are formally registered, some are, you know, uh, semi, can I call informal. So, but as long as they've been banking and we can see evidence of their school fees collections, we are offering this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, your closing remarks uh, in terms of personal banking. Okay. Um, just generally, I think we, as a bank, we, we have made a promise to our customers. Uh, our, our vision is actually to transform lives and businesses. And many times people look at loans as a bad thing. But I, I always tell people, it really depends on why you're borrowing. Mm -hmm. and, and we've seen people's lives being transformed by the, by the loans that they take. I mean, they're for personal development, people are able to acquire assets, people are able to run small businesses. So we are looking at, as a bank, how can we help people to actually achieve their dreams? And uh, I would really encourage uh, the people watching to take advantage of some of these, because these are benefits that come in at low interest. Our unsecured loan is at as low as 17.5%. We know people borrow money from all kinds of places at exorbitant rates so we are encouraging them to take advantage of these packages that we are offering so that they can be able to meet their goals uh, personal goals for the year okay yeah all right thank you so much Miranda Bagaine who is the head of uh, personal <laughs> banking at DFC you reach for more campaign uh, they're really trying their level best to mm. meet their mission which is to make sure that you're financially able and stable that brings us to the end of our business update here on morning at NTV we do take a breather return shortly.